Welcome to What's in the Pot. I'm your host, Sean Grande, and today we're making sea moss, or some people call it Irish moss. It's What's in the Pot. Welcome to What's in the Pot. I'm your host, Sean Grande. Now, this is the dried sea moss. I got this from Caribbean Flavors. It's vegan, uh, organic, non-GMO. Now, some sea mosses have a lot less of the salt, and some people say that's better. I'm using this one I got from Calubox.com. Now, the one thing is you want to wash the sea moss out and let that soak for about 15 minutes. It gets all that brininess, briny flavor out of there. And once you let that soak, you want to boil it with two quarts of, two quarts of water. Um, and you're going to boil it with some cloves, some cinnamon. There's different variations. Now, you can see this is after I boil it, I've used a hand blender and blended everything up and it forms into like a jelly, like almost like a gelatin. And once you blend it up, we're gonna use it in our drink. To start, I'm using one cup of the boiled and blended sea moss. Once I've added that, I'm adding about two cups of water. You can add more water if you want. You can also add more sea moss. It's really how much you want it, how thick you want it. Now I'm adding two tablespoons of peanut butter because I'm not just making this a regular sea moss drink. I'm adding a little bit of that peanut flavor, but I'm not using milk because according to Dr. Sebi, who was where I got the idea for this drink is because sea moss is actually very healthy for you. It has 92 of the 102 minerals your body needs. So I'm adding one cup of almond milk. When you add regular milk, it takes away from the benefits of the sea moss. I'm adding some raw organic honey and you can use any kind of honey. You can also use agave. So my next ingredient is going to be some nutmeg. I'm using some fresh nutmeg. You just want to grate it. I'm using about a teaspoon. It's really how much you want to use and how much of that nutmeg flavor you like. But go ahead and add some of that. If you don't have the fresh nutmeg, go ahead and get some of the already grounded stuff. It's really up to you. Now these are the cloves I used when I boiled it. This is from Caribbean Flavors as well. Now we're just going to blend this up and this is just the first step of getting our drink ready. So the last thing I'm going to add is some cinnamon. I'm just adding a pinch of cinnamon. It goes really well with that nutmeg flavor. Kind of has that nice little Christmassy vibe. And I'm also adding some bitters. You can use any kind of bitters you like. If you also have vanilla extract or vanilla essence, go ahead and add some of that. And this is our final blend and our drink is done. And remember, this is not our typical Caribbean style sea moss drink where we add a lot of creams, milks, and sugars. We want to keep it dairy free. Um, so we can get the most benefits out of the sea moss. After I make it, I store it in a blender bottle. Um, this lasts me about a maybe two, three days, that whole package of sea moss when I boil it and blend it, it lasts me about two to three weeks. It's your boy, Sean Grande. Thank you very much for tuning into What's in the Pot. Peace.